Here's from the New York Post. I, I don't normally read uh, articles about major leaguers, but I thought this was an interesting guy because we don't know much about him. Obviously, you know, he came over in a trade uh, with the Brewers along with Adrian Hauser. And Adrian Hauser pitched well for the Mets on Sunday. Uh, but we're talking about Tyrone Taylor. Now, before we get in this video, of course, hit that subscribe button on the Prospect Hut and let me know what you think about this video. So Taylor was in this trade with the Mets. Went from the Brewers to the Mets with Hauser. Hauser's going to be in the rotation. Taylor's going to be like the fourth outfielder on the Mets. He has, he's been a very good defensive player, and he's been a very, and he hits for power. Uh, but the defense is the big thing that um, Mets uh, vice, you know, Mets president of baseball operations wanted here as a guy that was good defensively, and he's got power. So here's the article. Tyrone Taylor looking to make mark with Mets after a Brewers trade, okay? If Tyrone Taylor ever needed, ever needed alpha inspiration, the Brewers possess plenty of sources. Lorenzo Cain, Ben Gamel, Christian Yelich. Those names dotted at the Milwaukee lineup when Taylor made his debut, MLB debut in 2019. And he picked up on the routines and pregame work they needed, and he, he'd need to one day become a regular starter. But Taylor's gradual development with the, the Brewers encountered an element of surprise when they dealt him along with starter Adrian Hauser to the Mets in December. Okay? A member of the front office called Taylor when he was training. He was shocked in disbelief. Quote, back then, after a couple of hours, I was just excited to get out here and meet everybody, Taylor's told. Uh, the, the post before the Mets defeated the Cardinals 9-3 on Saturday at Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium. Spring became tra tra transitional with Taylor adapted to the Mets' first spring training of his career that didn't involve the Brewers. While at the same time competing for a spot as the fourth outfielder behind Brandon Nimmo, Harrison Bader, and Stalin Marte. In 331 games in the majors with the Brewers since 2019, including a career high in 120 in 2022, he's never committed an error. Well, that's, I didn't know that. Taylor so far has produced strong numbers with the Mets, Hitting 353 with a 4, 742 OPS. And Mets manager Carlos Mendoza added that he has, he has impressed in center field too. Quote, some of the jumps, some of the plays that he's made there so far, it's been really, really good to see. And that is his calling card. The one thing that we've talked about, uh, and the Mets have talked about, is improving the defensive of wares of the outfield. Obviously, the Mets still have a very large city field to, to uh, navigate. And even though Brandon Nimmo was pretty good in center field, they look like they got a couple of good center fielders. We know Harrison Bader's a great center fielder defensively, and Taylor's very good, too. Uh, from Mendoza, uh, uh, at first, uh, Taylor's arrival in Port St. Lucie felt like the first day at a new school or the opening shift at a new job. It took time to feel comfortable. It took him to get used to his surroundings. It took him time to translate the anxiety-free feelings into the workouts and games. Danny said helped anchor his spring with the Mets. Outfield since his sophomore year at Torrance High School was always his natural position, dating back to when Taylor realized he couldn't make the infield throws and also needed to switch positions in order to, to crack the varsity lineup. He's made 78% of his MLB outfield appearances in right or center, and five of his six spring starts have involved patrolling center with the other as the Mets left fielder. Taylor has tried to fine-tune his posture and bad path since the off-season trade, too. Based on how everything unfolds, it could lead to a roster spot. Strong at-bats and defensive contributions could become a defined responsibility. And if anything happened to Bader, if Marte's groin uh, issue resurfaced, if Nimmo ever missed games, Taylor's presence as a reserve could turn into a pivotal role. I don't see why he wouldn't make the team. I, I think his spot is pretty much secure. Because obviously, uh, you know, once this trade was made, and obviously, this was a player that uh, Stearns uh, drafted years ago. I, I cannot imagine him not making this team. And he's played well. Finally, uh, Taylor says this, I'm, I'm really just surrounding the results and making sure that my body's healthy and getting back into the groove of things. Going out there and being free. You know, I, I can't imagine him not making the team. But you know, let me know what you think about this video. We don't, we, no one's really talked much about him, to be honest with you. That's why I found this article. I thought it'd be interesting to talk about it here. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Prospect Hut, and I'll see you later.